What's up guys, welcome back again. So today we are going to see a very cool feature of 2018 uh, which is called it's a navigation gestures. So, so so many manufacturers gave this feature, the OnePlus, the Xiaomi and Huawei, a lot of companies started giving. Even the stock Android, uh, Android P that is going to come has a good navigation gestures too. But you cannot exactly get the same feature what uh, the company has introduced because you know, many things are copyright protected. You cannot get obviously in a present feature. If you are playing around with the Android, you know about the XT developers forum. Here's a good thing. There's a new application launched from them named as a navigation gestures. It just came two days back, I guess, on May 18. And you can give it a try. Now, so far I have seen, I have tried so many applications. None of them were perfect. So I haven't shown you any such application. But just believe me, this application is just so good. This application uh, don't need any kind of root access. You can try on any other device. But if you have the root access or if you have access to the computer, uh, you can uh, replace the default stock navigation part, which I tried using ADP on OnePlus 5T. It just worked fine for me. So let's jump into the application first. So as of now, uh, you see that OnePlus 5T has a default built-in navigation gesture which is very very optimized, earlier it was in the beta but now the official it is working super cool and I really like that feature Manta 6 also has the same feature so this is the application, as of now it is uh, disabled now let me tell you one important thing if you have installed that application, if you have enabled that gesture so if you want to revert back that means uh, you want your old navigation bar you want to get rid of this application make sure you first disable this application otherwise you may need to reset your device this is uh, what according to the exchange developers so first disable that application so that your default stock navigation bar comes back then try to install that all right let me first uh, disable this navigation gesture and uh, try to go on the fixed navigation bar so this is the fixed navigation bar now see the magic i'm just going to enable that thing and it just replaces the stock navigation bar with the one that i have configured that going inside the settings you can see there are a lot of options gestures appearance behavior so inside those gestures you have tap switcher single tap double tap long press whichever way you want to customize and see uh, on some feature it shows you as a new get plus that means some features are exclusively based on the os2 for example double tap to switch between the applications is a new get feature so you cannot try that get that feature on the marshmallow lollipop kit cat so be sure to keep that thing in mind and some swipe feature too, a swipe up and hold like you have on the OnePlus 5, you just swipe up, it will show you recent application. So you can just hold it, you will see a lot of options are there, no action, hold, uh, back, recent, height, field, assistant. And uh, swipe left, the way you are doing the back, the swipe right, everything you can just configure. Few more things are there, appearance, you can change actually the vertical position where you want to keep that thing. Based on your requirement, you should change it. Fill height, you can change and minimize. And the fill width, so bigger one is okay. And also behavior wise make sure these things are minimum so if you just enable this vibration duration you may see some kind of haptic feedback once you try to use that application and this swipe up and hold time you see the delay just keep it in the lesser time you will get a better result so everything is done so let's try out this application press once it's just been managed to the phone so you may have seen that it is not as quick as the official gestures maybe in the future speed will improve also you can see it is overlapping to the you know dock area so these things also can be fixed in the future update anyways now i'm just going to try out this first thing i just swipe up so this will show you all the recent application just click back and it just minimizes i have just opened play store and i want to uh, go back so i'm just doing uh, the this way here swipe left so it just went back now i want to switch quickly to the previous application which i have opened before to the play store swipe right the way i have configured that as you can see it just worked perfectly. You need a little bit of time to you just learn it how it ways, how does it, how does it work. Also, long press see whether home or this Google Assistant is working or not. So it's not working for me. Uh, it is working. I had the sound, but I have you know ring the screen recorder. Maybe this could be that thing. So like I mentioned, some things are maybe broken as of now. In the future, those things are you know will be fixed very soon. And yes, it has some. Uh, long press shortcut too so you can also add this thing on the quick tile too you can just disable from the tile too so long press it you will see there is a toggle option just click here it will disable that and you got your old navigation keys back now you can easily just install that application like that only so this is how you should uninstall the application anyway guys as we need your iphone 10 fixes to any gestures that ever you want you can try on any android as any android device so let me know in the comment in which device you try to work or not so that other users will also get help from that thank you so much for watching i'm sort of i'll catch you guys next video very soon till then have a great day